Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Emil Vihandre and welcome to Physical Science. Our topic for today is Electronegativity. How can we know what type of bond exists without drawing the bonds or even writing the valence electrons? We can use electronegativity. Electronegativity indicates the attraction of an atom for shared electrons, which means the more electronegative an atom, the more electron it attracts. It is high for the nonmetal. As you can see in our periodic table, there's a trend. Going to the right, we can see an increase in electronegativity among the elements. But as you go down, we observe a decrease in electronegativity, which proves the right portion. The nonmetals are the highest. How can we use electronegativity to determine the type of bond? We see in our table wherein the difference between the electronegativity of atoms indicate the type of bond. Don't worry, electronegativity has no unit. Having a difference of 0 to 0 0.4 means you are a nonpolar covalent bond. Examples are nitrogen bonded with nitrogen, chlorine bonded with bromine, and hydrogen bonding with silicon gives us all nonpolar covalent bonding. If we observe molecules with nonpolar covalent bonding, the shape is symmetrical. It's because the electrons are equally shared among the atoms. For the next type, we have a difference of 0 0.5 to 1.7. Examples are oxygen bonded with chlorine, chlorine bonded with carbon, and finally, oxygen bonding with sulfur gives us all polar covalent bond. If we observe molecules with polar covalent bonding, since we see a charge, it seems that there is an equal sharing of electrons since chlorine gained a negative charge. This means that chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen, keeping up the majority of electrons among the bond. Lastly, an electronegative difference of 1.8 or more gives us ionic bonding. We have an example of chlorine and potassium, nitrogen bonded with sodium, and sulfur bonding with cesium gives us ionic bonds. If we observe molecules with ionic bonding, we observe them like marbles stuck together. Since electrons are not shared but transferred, the molecules stick together more because they are electrically attracted to one another, meaning positive attracts negative. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Goodbye!